Hi everyone, in this video we will go over the Time Tracker extension. The Time Tracker extension allows users to track the work they do for their clients directly from their main WP dashboard. Let's break down how to set up and use the Time Tracker extension step by step. First, we'll start with buckets. To create buckets, which are essentially pools of hours with specific price tags for different services, navigate to Time Tracker, Buckets. Click the Create Bucket button and fill in the details like the bucket title, bucket description, number of hours you want to allocate for this bucket, select the clients you wish to associate with this bucket, and set the hourly price. Remember the currency is defined in the settings, so you only need to enter the numeric value here. The buckets page is your go-to for managing these buckets, allowing you to see the most important information about this bucket at a glance, and in the ellipsis menu, you will find actions for viewing bucket details, editing bucket, and deleting a bucket. When deleting a bucket, you will be given an option to move track time to a different bucket. Now, let's move to the settings section. Here, you can adjust how you count time, either up from zero or down from a specific time. You can also define the default currency symbol, its position, and how you'd like numbers to be formatted and rounded. These settings ensure that your reporting is both neat and understandable. Tracking time on a task is straightforward. From any page of the dashboard, click on the clock icon in the top right. If you have any running tasks, they will be displayed in this menu. Let's now select New Task. Select the client for which you wish to track time, select one or more of their sites, and select the desired bucket. You can choose to count time up or down. Enter the task title and the task description. Finally, click the Start Timer button. You can now dismiss the pop-up modal and continue working in your main WP dashboard. To stop or pause tracking, click on the clock icon again, and then click on the desired task. Then, to pause or stop tracking, click on the respective buttons and confirm. For those who need to review task details, edit, or delete a task, it's all manageable from the logs page. Here, you can get an overview of all task-related information. The ellipsis menu contains an action to continue tracking a task. When a task has been stopped, it will no longer be available in the clock icon menu, but you will still be able to continue tracking that task from here. In the ellipsis menu, you will also find actions for viewing details, and for editing and deleting entries. When editing a task, you will be able to change all relevant information, including title, notes, but you will also be able to manually adjust the time tracked, the money total, and select the payment status of this task so you can easily keep on top of your finances. On the logs page header, filtering tools are available to help you locate tasks by client, bucket, status, and within a specific date range. Additionally, the Time Tracker extension provides widgets for both site overview and client view pages, showing tasks related to sites or clients. And it also adds useful columns to the Manage Sites and Clients table, giving you a snapshot of tasks tracked for these sites and clients. We hope this walkthrough has been helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe for more updates from MainWP. See you in the next video.